Well, I think we're going to have number five. You can't go wrong with these coffees. I'm just amazed. It's deep, it's big, the nose, but it's, it's flat to me. A little flat mm -hmm. compared with the others. the others. I guess maybe you could say it's layered. It's complex, but layered. Kind of yeah. dense. I don't know. Well, there's a fruit. Not a, a bright, citrusy or yeah. kind of fruit. Not even peachy fruit. It's a yeah. kind of a subdued, subdued fruit. Yeah, maybe I go more towards apricot because it's sweet. Apricot, but yeah. I think there are some floral notes, maybe like night dusk flowers, you know, the kind of, yeah. but not as intense as those flowers like jasmine or honeysuckle. It's not big like yeah. that, but it has that sort of um, dusk sweetness to the, it's kind yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah, I'm I finding it now. It's, I like it. It's deep inside the, the profile, that floral. And then the fruit, I'm looking for an aromatic wood note. I think it's there, but it's not cedar. It's something simpler, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like right. a fresh it's fur, maybe, fresh yeah. cut fur. Yeah, fur. Fur is mm -hmm. good. You know, fur is the dominant aroma in lumber, lumber yards. Yeah. It's Maybe it's a dried fruit note. I'm thinking it a little bit like dried fig, but not as complex as fig. Yeah, not maybe. Even, yeah. Maybe we just stick with raisin or something like that. Yeah. Raisin is probably close. But it certainly has a nice floral. The floral. It's interesting. The floral sort of. Uh, wraps around some of the other notes. I'm won over by the cup. I guess I, ha I had the expectations for more, more display, um, more excitement, but uh, it's a very nice cup. Yeah. Nice nose. We'll see how it is in the cup. There's a little kind of buttery softness to it, too. Well, it comes down a little bit, <clears throat> simplifies as usual. Yeah, as, oh, absolutely, but it, uh, but less disappointing because I started higher on the other ones. It's a very low toned cup. There's no, uh, kind of acidy brightness, there's no citrusy character. No. The mocha component of this one could well be a mocha. Very full mouthfeel. So I suppose I'd go for wet hold Sumatra, although the so-called earthy notes are not very prominent, but it's a kind of low-key, savory, character, which suggests wet hold coffee. Very big, big mouthfeel. Wow. Yeah. Big, yeah. There's a little bit of drying in it. A little bit too much to my taste, but other people might like it. Uh, too much drying? Yeah. A little yeah. Bit. Some people mm -hmm. like that, though. Um, because there's sweetness too, I, kind of a yeah, sweet taste sweetness. with a, kind of a little bit of drying. The aroma and flavor notes don't really carry into the finish that much. I think they fade. I'm tasting number one now. Okay. Well. 
there's a certain, definitely a similarity. Number one mm -hmm. has that earthy, musty thing though going on, and this one doesn't quite have it, but they're similar. Well, I'm ready on this one when you are. Okay. Well, first coffee. I actually, it's al 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 mocha. I know it's hard to read. It's the uh, right up here. Oh, it's, it's a Yemeni uh, company, right? Owned company. And the yes, work, yes, correct. It's mocha, and what's the other? Uh, I could tell you. Yeah. So it, 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 clearly, you got this. Uh, it's a, a Yemeni mocha and it is also west java west java 50 percent west java wet processed and it's a dry process yemeni of course well west java means that it's a small producer coffee the big uh, fa old farms in in java are uh, in east java in the mountains so this west java means it's a small producer coffee and they're experimenting like small producers everywhere with different processes and uh, it's a very exciting scene in Java right now. Yeah. And so I don't know, I couldn't typically say. It's a, is it a washed coffee? The the Java. It is a, uh, a yes, it's a washed okay. Java. Well, it's a small producer washed Java then. The small producers, they do everything in West Java. They do naturals and classic washed and uh, and wet hulled. So it's hard to say whether it's a wet hulled washed or a classic washed. I'd say it's a classic washed, partly because I don't think it's that interesting, that component. Yeah, and you think it would be more interesting if wet it was hold. a um, yeah, wet hold. Yeah, I think yeah, it. yeah. I, I, it certainly would add more distinction. The mocha is is nice, it's kind of balanced. It has the. Those floral notes are probably from the, obviously, almost certainly, well, it could be from the java, but it's probably the mocha. Hmm. Okay, well, it's, it's an honorable mocha java <laughs> to the tradition in a very direct way. Again, we don't know what the original java tasted like, but we know that the mocha tasted the same as back then probably because uh, they do it in the same way as they did it with the same same plant material, the same varieties. A company has come in and introduced all of these variations like uh, anaerobic and all that into Yemen coffee. Uh, this tastes like a very traditional Yemen to me. As usual in the coffee world today, region is not a very reliable differentiator. Because if somebody, mm -hmm. you have two, two farms in the same region or two processing uh, plants and one's, one turns out a natural dried in the fruit coffee and another one turns out a wash, they're gonna be very different. They're not going to, you could probably, if you know what the region is and you have some generalizations in your head, uh, but there's the altitude, of course, but in Yemen, almost all coffees, there are some that grown down in what are called wadis or valleys that are a little lower elevation, but most of it's very high mm -hmm. elevation, and most of it high, comes high, from high grown. Yeah. really unique coffee tree varieties, unique varieties of Arabica. A researcher recently found Yemen varieties that have no no relate no direct relationship genetically to to any other varieties in the world including ethiopia traditionally yemen coffee was just a dried on rooftops as i've said and and then hulled in the simplest way and and uh, cleaned by hand but now of course 
because there's uh, some people, younger people, going in and working with the producers, plus this uh, very wealthy coffee developer <laughs> who's trying to popularize Yemen coffee and introducing other processing methods and so on. It was always a very rich source of, uh, of complex and interesting coffees. Now it's even richer <laughs> and more interesting but hard to keep track of. You know, it's harder, harder to say, yeah. oh, this is a Yemen coffee, because it might be anaerobic, natural, and it's going to taste much different from the classic, dry processed natural Yemens. A great origin, and I'd like to see, everybody would like to see more success, because the more Yemeni producing coffee, the less poverty-stricken the country will be, and we'll all be better off. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.